Hey, what's up everyone? It's that time of year again, so let's take a look outside and... What's this? Not even an inch of snow on the ground? I live in one of the most northern areas in America, and despite that, it seems that snowfall has been super stingy this year. But is this a bad thing? Not necessarily. I mean, having to shovel snow off the sidewalk and driveway is pretty lame, and having to brush it off your car almost every time you want to go somewhere is pretty annoying. But, I don't know. It just doesn't feel like Christmas to me without that hideous sky dandruff. Okay, yeah, the lack of snow, that kind of sucks. But maybe something else will help me take my mind off of things. Wait, what? A package at the door? I didn't order any- Oh my stars, it's a gingerbread kit! Among all the different holiday traditions in the world, I feel like building gingerbread houses is a bit uncommon nowadays. I don't have any real statistics to back this up, but for years I have been the only one I know who actually bothers with this. To be honest, it is kind of nice and calming, even for someone like me who tends to focus more on the technical side of things rather than the creative side. You just can't beat the nice family time together brought by decorating the house and putting up the Christmas tree. But I still think building a gingerbread house alone is relaxing. This year I got the gingerbread village kit again, something I haven't done since all the way back in 2015. Jeez, I recorded that video with a flip camcorder. Anyone remember those? No? Anyway. After I was done building all the houses, I realized something. I do this same tradition every year, despite not even liking gingerbread. And what ends up happening is that all this food goes to waste. Honestly, that's... Probably pretty scummy of me looking back on it. Fortunately though, this year, I have an excuse. Rosie! This past summer, my family and I got this sweet little Bernese Mountain Dog Poodle Mix, or a Bernadoodle for short, and we named her Rosie. I've always wanted a pet of some kind for as long as I can remember, and after 20 years, it finally happened. Rosie has brought endless amounts of light into our lives, which has been much needed after the hellhole this year was. Rosie has been super good to us, so I figured allowing her to decimate this gingerbread village would be a good reward. Before that, though, I gotta do some research to find out if gingerbread is actually okay for dogs to eat. As far as I can tell so far, it doesn't seem like there's anything too harmful in there. Just copious amounts of sugar, flour, butter, molasses, cinnamon, and... nutmeg? Whoa, wait a minute, hang on. Nutmeg is toxic! God damn it, I thought I almost had it with this one. Now not only did I waste like eight whole dollars on this gingerbread kit, I can't even give it to my dog. What a crapload of poop. Okay, fine. I've got a better idea.